And then Andrew Tate is banned from social media. I like you there because at least you're not Andrew yeah. Tate. Well, I really haven't said anything about Andrew Tate. Well, folks, Andrew Tate was in a Romanian jail for like three months. BBC has questioned the controversial social media influencer Andrew Tate. In a world full of predictable people, one name stands out as both controversial and captivating. Andrew Tate. He is a person who doesn't fit into the usual categories, and his actions and words have caused intense debates and scrutiny. Some see him as arrogant, while others find his confidence inspiring. But beneath all the noise, there's a compelling story waiting to be uncovered. A story that reveals a complex individual who challenges societal norms and embraces his own uniqueness. Let's dive into the extraordinary journey of Andrew Tate and discover the layers behind his controversial yet intriguing persona. Emery Andrew Tate III was born in Washington, D.C. on December 14, 1986. He grew up in Luton, England. Andrew Tate's mother, Eileen Tate, was an English woman employed as a caterer. His father, Emery Tate II, was a world chess champion with African heritage, so he is of mixed ancestry. Tate started playing chess when he was five years old, and soon he was playing in events with adults. His father, Emery Tate, was a world-class chess player. Andrew Tate gave up his career as a chess player when he was young. He started training for kickboxing and martial arts in 2005. Tate started his professional kickboxing career in 2007, when he was 20 years old. In November 2008, the International Sport Kickboxing Association ranked Tate as the 7th best light heavyweight kickboxer in Britain. In his more than 13 years in the ring, he won 76 of his 85 fights, making him one of the best kickboxers in the world. Tate almost won the Showtime 85 Max world title against winner Sahak Barbarian in Belgium. He then lost the final of Enfusion 3's Trial of the Gladiators series with a flying knee KO in the first round. Tate didn't let that stop him from winning a second world title at Cruiserweight in France by split decision and going after Enfusion's world champion title in Slovakia in 2014, where he lost in the semifinals by decision. One of the best parts of Tate's career, which ended with three fights in Romania, was beating the famous kickboxer Wendell Roach in London in 2014. Tate was only the second fighter out of hundreds to knock out the Amsterdam-based force. Tate is a devastating kickboxer who has had countless knockouts. One of the reasons for Andrew Tate's success can be attributed to the pivotal role played by his brother, Tristan Tate. Tristan supported his brother in every possible way. When the Tate brothers didn't have much money and Andrew was focused on kickboxing training, Tristan stepped up and worked to pay their rent. Tristan even found a clever way to get leftover chickens from customers at a nearby KFC, making sure they had enough protein for Andrew's intense training. This shows how dedicated Tristan was to supporting Andrew and how far he was willing to go to help them both succeed even when the times were tough. Andrew Tate has said more than once that he and his brother are close and they do everything together. They live together, work together, train together, and even have a joint bank account. The bond between them is of such profound depth that should the circumstance arise, one would willingly sacrifice one's own life for the others. Tristan Tate is the quieter of the two which is why he hasn't been linked to boxing fights against the likes of Jake Paul and Logan Paul. On the other hand, podcasts and reality TV shows have shown that he is a lot like his brother Cobra. In 2016, when Andrew Tate turned 30, he decided to end his successful career as a professional kickboxer. After retiring, Andrew and Tristan started a new business called T2 Advertising, which focused on advertising on TV and became very successful. By using their innovative ideas and smart strategies, T2 Advertising has achieved a lot in the industry. They understand the power of television in promoting brands and products effectively. This change from Andrew's impressive sports career to the business world shows their ability to adapt and succeed, proving that they are accomplished individuals beyond just kickboxing. They then started a computer modeling business that made up to $500,000 a month in profits. Tate's business empire kept growing, 
with interests in 15 casinos in Romania and a 10% stake in the Romanian MMA organization. Top G started Hustlers University in 2019, which is known now as The Real World. It is an online platform created to provide education, guidance and motivation for individuals, especially young men looking to improve their personal and professional lives. Through the real world, Andrew shares his knowledge and experiences in various fields such as business, mindsets, success strategies and self-improvement. The company is now worth hundreds of millions of dollars. On December 29th, 2022, the Tate brothers were arrested in Romania on suspicion of human trafficking, rape and forming an organized crime group, but with no real evidence. Finally, on Friday, March 31, 2023, after three months of detention in Romania, the Tate brothers were released and moved to house arrest, despite being banned in all the social media, despite being falsely accused and imprisoned. The Tate brothers have shown remarkable perseverance and resilience. They have successfully rebuilt their lives, remaining influential figures who never gave up. Their impact ensures that they will be remembered as some of the most influential individuals in history. So, how do you see Andrew Tate as a person? Controversial? Outspoken? Confident? Or even motivational? Let's hear it in the comment section. If you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel.